And now, try Tronix Dog Training Tip with Charlie Lindblade. Now this dog has not been introduced to the retrieving commands. And so far he's been retrieving everything and there's no issues with that. That still doesn't mean he still shouldn't be introduced to the retrieving commands. And for a dog, whether it be a pointing reed bird dog, a flushing reed bird dog, or a retriever, it helps to have some commands there. Sit, sit. Now with the retrieving, I break it into a four-step thing. One is fetch, and that means go get it and pick it up. A well-bred dog, you shouldn't have to say too much about this because he's going to want to own that bird anyway. He's going to want to grab that bird and own it but still it helps to have the command for clarity and for communication. Now what I do initially, and I'll use something small like this, or I'll use something that's their favorite toy to teach the fetch command. Good boy, good boy. But as I present it to him, I'm telling him fetch, fetch, good boy. Then I put it in his mouth. Not deep in, but just behind the canines. Hold, hold. When he relaxes, Okay, good boy, drop. <clears throat> now in the, in the retrieving, there's four steps. Fetch, which means go pick it up. Once it's in its mouth, then it's hold, so it doesn't get dropped. Then it's come, come to me, and then it's a release command. Drop, give, release. Whatever the handler likes, doesn't really matter what the command is, as long as you stay with that command, especially at this age because that's the glue that makes it all work. That's, it. that's what we're here for, and that's a dog who wants to retrieve and wants birds, especially with a retriever.